I want to sort of talk about why it's important for you to discover your superpower. If you are in business, if you're building your career, or if you just want to be a standout member in your community, your superpower is going to help you with three things. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Andrea Patrick, the BU Boss, and today I wanna to talk about something that you may have been questioning yourself. Have you ever heard marketers or even me talk about your superpower and wondered what is a superpower and how do I get one, okay? I'm answering that question for you today, so if that is something that you need to know the answer to, keep watching. All right, bosses, here is the deal. First, let's talk about this superpower thing. It is basically what makes you unique. There are tons of people who probably do the exact same thing that you do, so in order to stand out, you need to discover what your unique value proposition is, right? It becomes your superpower when you attach your passion and your style thread to it. So let me share with you my definition of both of those things. Number one, your passion is that thing you can do with your eyes closed, your hands tied behind your back and out of a deep sleep. You'd also do it for free because it's just that much fun for you. It's something that you truly enjoy. Just so happens you're using it to make money. You've monetized it. Now your style thread, that is really the replication of preferences that have stemmed from the influences and experiences that you had and you have kind of pulled those things together and you seem to replicate them and the same thing happens over and over again in the different circumstances where those situations arise. So you might find that you're doing something repeatedly depending on the circumstances. Those are the replication of preferences, repeating your preferences in different situations. That is what I consider your style thread. And it can go for anything. It's not just about your clothing. But when you combine your unique value proposition with your passion and your style thread, it, what you get is your superpower. This is important to know because I talk about this inside my Project CEO program. Really living unapologetically you and understanding what you need to do and be your best is paramount in your ability to really showcase your superpower. Otherwise, you're not going to really know what it is. But lucky for you in this video, I do have five questions that you can ask yourself that are going to help you get a little bit closer to discovering what your superpower is. Now that you know my definition of your superpower and the three elements that I think will help you discover it, I wanna sort of talk about why it's important for you to discover your superpower. If you are in business, if you're building your career, or if you just wanna be a standout member in your community, your superpower is going to help you with three things primarily. Number one, it's going to help you with your style story. Now, later on in the year, not quite sure which quarter we're going to pull it up, but I have got a an amazing video series that I'm going to be doing for you on Sundays and I'm super excited about it, but it's going to be talking about your style story. But when you've discovered your superpower, again, remember, you take, you're taking your unique value proposition, you're taking your passion and you're taking your style thread and you are creating what I'm calling a superpower. So how that applies to your style story is you knowing the message you want your image to convey when you walk in a room. So that is the way you carry yourself, the clothing that you choose, the way you put items together, the way you want to show up and have a reputation around your peers. That is one way to use your superpower within your style story or with your style story. The next way is if you are a business person, you have your own business, your brand, the business that you've created is an extension of you. So that's why I always talk about putting the BU in your business. When you understand what your superpower is, it makes it a lot easier for you to develop your brand narrative, how you want to communicate with your customers, the way you want them to feel when they interact with your business. It also helps you when you are on Onboarding new hires, contractors, collaborators, you will have a culture in your brand and you will have a narrative for your brand that is an extension of your superpower. So you can sort of just plug people in and it helps you to really determine who you want to work with in the first place. So having that superpower, having discovered what that is, is so important when it comes to understanding your style story and your brand narrative. Then it also is so helpful in setting the tone for relationship building. When you know your superpower, you can connect easily with people that are like-minded. You can also discern those people who aren't like-minded and you can make those relationships quick and easy if they need to be 
Or you can just say to yourself, you're more discerning when it comes to building those friendships and relationships. You'll know what to leave, what money to leave on the table because it doesn't serve you. And you'll know what money is best to pick up vice versa. You'll also know if you're building your career, you'll be able to communicate and effectively communicate really with those peers or your bosses or subordinates. And it just makes those relationships easier to navigate. When you know what your superpower is and what you need to do and be your best, you can apply it to these different situations. Now, when it comes to finding your superpower, I know that I told you that there were these three elements your value proposition, your passion, and your style thread. But here are five questions that I think you should ask yourself to really help you hone in on the answer to what your specific superpower is. Question number one is, what are two to three things that you do extremely well and that you would do them for free? and you have decided to monetize them. I'm saying two or three because, you know, you need to have a couple of things to choose from. I don't really know what's working for you and what's not. You may be in a position where you haven't started your business or you haven't figured these things out, but ask yourself, what are two to three things? And then you can whittle it down from there to get to the one thing that you feel is your superpower because I think the remainder questions are going to help you sort of uh, really whittle it down a little bit. Question number two, how have you used the influences of other people to make your life choices? This is important because we are a sum of our influence experiences, perspectives, and passions. And the decisions that we've made up until this point are quite likely the result of us being influenced by other people. So I want you to think about how are you or how have you been influenced by other people and you've used that influence to make life choices. And those choices have been great for you. You feel like the influence that got you to this point to help make those decisions was extremely helpful to you. So the first question is, what are two to three things that you love, that you want to do, you would do for free and you can consider monetizing? And then number two, how did your life influences and experiences help you make choices that got you to the point where those things were awesome that you loved very much? Okay, then the third question that I have for you is, what is the relationship between what you discovered you do well and you would monetize and your life choices? What is that? Is it a situation where you solved a problem for yourself and you're proud of yourself because you overcame an obstacle and there is a lesson there, there is an epiphany journey there that you went on? What is the relationship between the influence that you had and the life choices that you made as a result of that influence? And how does that relate to the things that you think you do very well and that you would monetize? Okay, question number four is, what positive and or transformative experiences have you had as a result of those life choices? Again, was there a situation where you were influenced by someone that caused you to make a decision or decisions that got you to a point that you really have enjoyed, that you think you are excelling in? How was it transformative? Was there a transformative moment for you or what was the positivity in that for you? And can you look back and see how it did actually affect your life? How did it affect your, your decisions and things up until this point? And then lastly, I want you to ask yourself this question. Based on the transformation or the positive experience you had, are there people that you feel could benefit from having that same positiveness in their life or that same transformation? I believe when you ask yourself these five questions, you are going to really hone in on what your superpower is and how you can use your experiences, your transformation, the influence you had, and the decisions that you made to help other people in a positive way. That indeed would be your unique value proposition and it would help you by seeing how your passion and how your style threat played a role in you getting that positive transformation for yourself and your ability to help others with positive transformation as well. Now, I hope that answers your question about what your superpower potentially is and how you can use that superpower to help other people. All right, thank you so much for watching today's video. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell, give this video a big thumbs up and leave a comment below and tell me your thoughts on your value proposition, your superpower. I wanna know what yours is and how you're using it for good. So put that down in the comments below. And then don't forget, Project CEO will be opening soon. So make sure that you are on the wait list because everyone on the wait list gets all the great goodies and all of the advanced notices and all of the things. So make sure that you're on that list. And I look forward to seeing you again next week. Bye.